write 7 over 4 as a mixed number. So right now it's an improper fraction. 7 is larger than 4. Let's write it as a mixed number. So first, I'm just going to show you a fairly straightforward way of doing it. And then we're going to think about a little bit about what it actually means. So to figure out what 7 over 4 represents as a mixed number, let me write it in different colors. So this is going to be equal to, let me the, the easiest way I do it, you say, well, you take 4, you divide 4 into 7. So you divide 4 into 7. 4 into 7. So 4, if we're dealing with fourths, 4 goes into 7 a total of one time. 4 goes into 7 a total of, let me do this in another color, a total of 1 time. 1 times 4 is 4. And then what is our remainder? 7 minus 4 is 3. So if we wanted to write this in plain, well, let me just do the problem, and then we'll think about what it means in a second. So you see that 4 goes into 7 one time. So you have one hole here. You have one hole. And then how much do you have left over? Well, you have 3 left over. You have 3 left over. And that comes from right over there. That is the remainder when you divide 4 into 7. 3 left over, but it's 3 of your 4, or 3 fourths left over. So that's the way we just converted it from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now, it might seem a little bit like voodoo, what I just did. I divided 4 into 7. It goes one time. And then the remainder is 3. So I got 1 and 3 fourths. But why does that make sense? Why does that actually make sense? So let's draw fourths. Let's draw literally 7 fourths. And maybe it'll become, maybe it'll become clear. So let's do a little square as a fourth. So I'm going to do it, let's say I have a square like that. And that is 1 fourth. Now, let's think about what 7 of those mean. So let me copy and paste that. Copy and then paste it. So that's so here I have two one fourths, or you could say I have two fourths. Now I have three one fourths. Now I have four one fourths. Now this is a whole, right? I have four one fourths. This is a whole. So let me start on another whole. So now I have five. Now I have six one fourths. And now I have 7 1 fourths. Now, what does this look like? So all I did is I rewrote 7 fourths, or 7 1 fourths. I just kind of drew it for you. Now, what does this represent? Well, I have 4 fourths here. So this is 4 over 4. This right here is 3 over 4. Notice, 7 over 4 is 4 fourths with 3 fourths left over. So let me write it this way. 7 over 4 is 4 fourths with 3 fourths left over. Now, what is 4 fourths? What is 4 fourths? 4 fourths is 1 whole. So you have 1 whole with 3 fourths left over. So you end up with 1 and 3 fourths. So that is the 3 fourths part, and that is your 1 whole. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully you understand why it connects. Because you say, well, how many holes do you have? When you're, when you're dividing in the 4 into the 7 and getting the 1, you're essentially saying, how many holes? How many? How many? So the number of holes. Or you, know, you can imagine the number of whole pies. And then how many pieces do we have left over? Well, we have 3 pieces, and each piece is a fourth. So we have 3 fourths left over. So we have one whole pie and 3 pieces, which are each a fourth left over.